Police are still looking for one of the suspects in the stolen van. The other is in jail tonight after admitting she was the one behind the wheel during the crash. News 13's Jose Mitri shows you how police tracked her down. Looking distraught, 21-year-old Alexis Groves turned away from our camera as Albuquerque police took her on her way to get booked into jail for charges including murder and car theft. Does she admit that she was driving? She admitted from running from the scene. Um, she admitted to stealing the car. Police found Groves two days after they say she and an accomplice stole this van, sped away from officers, and crashed into another car, killing 14-year-old Shaylee. These two showed that they had no uh, regard for life. They had no regard for anything that they were responsible for doing. Uh, so we wanted to make sure we got them in custody before they were able to hurt anybody else. The suspects ran from the scene, but a string of 911 calls along their path helped police identify them. A criminal complaint shows a neighbor near the crash reported two people jumping through his backyard. One of them dropped a cell phone. Minutes later, another neighbor said someone stole a truck, leaving behind a jacket with a letter addressed to Alexis Groves in the pocket. Today, police found her at Eubank near Copper. She was actually located at a business complex. So I'm we're not sure what she was doing there. Last month, Groves was arrested in Sandoval County after crashing a stolen car and almost running over a deputy while trying to escape. Take the keys out of ignition. Deputies say she was stealing mail with this man, Paul Garcia. I said, is that your girl? He's like, I wish. But, so he's like, she's just a bad influence on me. Investigators say the cell phone found after the deadly Albuquerque crash also belonged to a Paul Garcia. Liz Amy Tree, KRQE News 13. Despite that piece of evidence, police would not tell us for certain that Garcia is the second suspect they are still trying to track down tonight. Once again, police are still looking for the man they say took off from the crash with Groves. We'll let you know when they catch him on KRQE.com and on the KRQE News app.